This is a 1970 Chevrolet Nova. This car is bad to the bone. This car has the 6.0 LS engine in it, backed by the 4L80 transmission. It's got aluminum vision wheels on it. It's got uh, power front disc brakes, drums in the rear. It's got big meaty tires on the rear. It's got 315-60 R15 Mickey Thompson tires on here. And these babies are fat. This car, it's tubbed. It's ready to rock. This car will definitely move you down the strip very fast. This car is beautiful. Inside and out. Got a TCI Outlaw automotive shifter there, ratchet shifter. With the reverse lockout, it's got an upgraded auto meter, um, RPM gauge with the shift light. This little sign here says get in, sit down, shut up and hold on, and it means it. It's got push button start there. You turn the ignition on and then you hit the push button start. It's got an AEM air fuel ratio gauge, digital gauge here. Two more digital gauges over there that light up blue. It's got a Jags five point harness um, that is rated and ready to rock. It's got um, your lock out here. You hold that, do the trans brake um, so you can reverse and then you can trans brake launch it if you want to car isn't perfect but trying to you won't be able to build one of them for this price especially with the ls and everything in it and how how high demand they are right now everybody's trying to do you know these kind of builds it's got a carbon fiber front chin splitter it's got a little bit of a little bit of damage on there other than that you know right here it's rock chip and then right here on the corner but other than that it's in really good shape Got a cowl hood on the driver's side, front fender. There's some little rust bubbles there, bubbles under the paint on the doors, chips, rock chips down the side. Then you go up into the right rear fender. There's a little crack here, the right rear fender above the tire. Staying focused on the driver's side, really isn't anything else. I mean couple minor chips here and scratches up here behind the right rear tire our passenger our geez driver's side tire trunks in good shape right below the trunk it's got a little chip here that started to get some surface rust on it a little crease here a little dent here Chrome's in good shape back here. Just got another little crack here above the reflector on the right rear uh, passenger side. On the passenger side above the right rear tire, there's some damage here. It looks like it kind of sideswiped or scraped something down the side here. And they put touch up paint over it and got a little bit of cracking up above there. line crease here crack right there by the corner of the door a little bubble there underneath passenger side door a little chip a couple little chips and that's on the passenger side door like I said not perfect but it's very very fast a little dent here you can kind of see the out shape when I move here a little bit there finishing up on the passenger side roof's good checking for any more chips or anything like that really picking this car apart guys really picking it apart other than that it's really good on the cowl it's got a little little chip and dent there windshield 
It's got a crack in it up to there and then it goes up there. Car looks mean. It really is a great car. There's the Vortec engine on it. It's got purple hydro dipped valve covers. It's got oil catch can over there. Um, no power steering. It's got aluminum radiator. Electric cooling fans, uh, cold air intake. I'm trying to think what else. Headers, aluminum heads. Another little chip here on the nose of the, the hood. Fire it up for you. Grab the key out here. All the uh, temp gauge, oil pressure, volt, fuel ratio. You get more gauges up there on the dash or on the hood. Fuel gauge. Um, it's got, you know, the gloss black painted uh, dash.